not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlie and I am here with another video. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And um, we're going to talk about Lost in Space. This is the reason why I didn't post a video yesterday. I literally saw this on Netflix and I clicked on it and I told myself I'm just going to watch a little bit and then I'm going to go and film and some more reaction videos, right? No, that didn't happen, okay? I ended up watching almost damn near the whole season but it was I think it's 10 episodes and each are like an hour or so so I was like damn I can't watch all of them but I did end up watching about five or six episodes when it was all said and done and I went to sleep at like six in the morning and because I started watching around 1 a.m. I fell asleep around 6 a.m. woke up I think now it's three uh, no it's four and I woke up at three so to give you a general idea of what this show is about, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you right now. It is about a family that uh, decides to go to this planet uh, to colonize. They become colonists because there's this new plan on Earth where they get hit by a meteor and they're like, oh, well, our long-term survival is not on Earth anymore. So yeah, now they've started colonies on habitable planets and stuff like that. And this family leaves, of course, and once they leave, uh, they get lost on a planet. Now, the beginning of the show starts like that. They're, they're stuck on a planet and things like that, and I'm not going to give you too much of what happens in the show, but the little boy, Will Robinson, encounters a robot. And keep in mind, this is, um, this is, this is like literally a, a remake of an old show. So... There's a lot of brand recognition in here, like when the uh, robot says, Danger, Will Robinson, you know, like that's from the old show. I never watched the old show. I just know there's a lot of things that was taken away from that old show that they made in this reboot or remake of that show, okay? So, okay, they get off that plan, they end up on another one. <laughs> and it's it gets interesting from there. And Parker Pro, I think her name is Parker Pro, Posey, I think Parker Posey. I'm not sure, but uh, she is a crazy character. I mean, like her plan, her her character is insane. Okay, like she will lie in your face and like turn around. Like it's crazy, bro. She is so manipulative, and you can tell by just how she would talk to some of the kids. Even like she would talk to everyone in a different way, even though she would use the same tactics she would do it in a certain way to still be able to kind of convince them in some sort. Um, it, it's cool, she used a combination of love and um, self-pity and things like that to like manipulate people and that's real evil, you know? Um, and she's not more of a physical, I'm gonna fight you type gal, you know? She's more of a, I'm gonna use my brain on you type evil. And that's that's crazy. That's that's insane. It's, she's a great character. I gotta give it to her. Now it may have felt like she was out of place a little bit in the show because the show does take it has a certain tone, and her coming in kind of just throws that tone off. But maybe that's what the writers wanted it to feel like. They're like they want her to feel uncomfortable, want everyone to feel uncomfortable on screen. I don't know, but uh, yeah, she definitely made me feel uncomfortable while I was watching her. Now, as for the other characters, um, they like it's like. They're, they're all good. I, I can say the kids are good. Um, the Canadian girl, she stands out very well. She she stands out so well. I, I like her. I like her. Um, and then the other girl, I don't know her name, but she stands out a lot also. But she has this snarkiness to her. She has this very, very, very um, smart, s smart aleck type personality but at the same time she's good and jokey and it can make you laugh she's very charismatic arguably can say she's standing she stood out more than judy um and then which is the canadian girl 
and uh, the the boy that plays Will Robinson, the young boy, um, he's, he he really does stand out with that robot. And let's get to that robot because I haven't really said much. They found he found a, a artificial intelligence robot of um, extra ter terrestrial. Um, or origin and that robot it's it's like it's evil but it's not I don't know there's a lot of secrets I don't want to tell you because I feel like it was spoiled the show you'd have to watch yourself but it does get interesting and it does get crazy um, and then the parents you know the mom is like a very uh, mama Robinson she's she's a science she's a brilliant scientist um, explorer things like that and like I feel like they kind of could have done better with the parents. Honestly, like they feel kind of bland. They don't, I mean, they do show some flashbacks that makes the mother more interesting, but the dad himself is just completely bland to me. Like the dad in the show, it's, they could have done better. They could have done better. But overall, as you put this family together, I feel like it's going to get better as the show moves on if they do get a season two. But overall, this show is not bad. It's doing pretty okay. I like what it's done so far and um, sometimes you look at the show and it's beautiful it's a beautiful show you, you look at it and you go damn how much did they spend to make this sh I almost said movie to make this show look like this because it does almost look like a movie like it could pass for a movie at some points there are some points where it just looks too bland and natural but for the most part the CGI is amazing the effects it looks great. The, it's it's crazy. Even the when they get scratched up and get cuts, the makeup looks pretty good. It, it's whew, it, it's good. It, it does look higher production than most TV shows. And this isn't. I know this isn't a TV show. It's technically a Netflix show, but it it, it still has the same format as a TV show. Um, well. I think overall, I think I touched on all the things I needed to. Um, you have this cool family. You have this robot that we don't know so much about, but it is very interesting. Um, and then the villain is pretty good. Just kind of just out of place for me. Uh, overall, this show does have some things that they're missing marks on. And they're just scratching the surface of what they're potential is I just hope they don't end up like that show Empire like Empire started on such a great foot and then as seasons went on it's just like what are y'all doing like you guys are just creating scenarios just to run the show and I hope that's not what this what happens to this show I hope they don't just come up with bullshit you know just to keep the stakes higher I want them to create meaningful content where you really get invested in the characters and their motivations and things like that like it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and the flashback stuff they use it's not that good um, it's just because they're missing marks on character development yeah they're giving you bits and pieces let's hope they flesh them out more but right now they're not really hitting any marks when it comes to those flashbacks because they did kind of tell the story in that format Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm not really good as a reviewer, but I did want to get my opinion out about Lost in Space. So if you want to see more of my types of videos, make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and peace out, Arlenators.